Good morning, December 4, 2018, and uh, we are live. Welcome to the John Beatty Daily Live Draw Stream. Hope you all had a great yesterday, and a, we'll have a better, a better today and tomorrow, of course. But today we are doing Ghost Rider. I think I'm going to try a few um, few new techniques to really get the uh, contrast bumped up on this one with the flames in the skull. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will check the chat in a little bit, see what's going on. But I want to say hi to everybody. Uh, if you're watching this live, good morning. If you are watching this after it's been uh, recorded. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching it. For me, it's morning. So right now, it's, uh, it's good morning for me. So without further ado, gonna get started on this, get a few lines going, and uh, I'll check the chat shortly here and uh good morning big easy i was gonna say i'll i'll check the chat in a few and see who's made their way in uh to join me for a while this early december 4th Why is there always a panic? I gotta check my mic. I guess it's a natural thing. You always wanna make sure your sound is uh, turned on. <laughs> because without it, it can be a little, a little boring, depending. Uh, I know that when I watch something on YouTube, that has no sound uh, it's a bit frustrating i prefer i do prefer somebody's going to record something and speed it up that they at least go back and add narration to it now um, i am guilty of uh, on the snake eyes piece that when my when i got real pixelized due to my i think it was my internet connection here and i I recorded it and then put it up. I, I didn't go back and do any narration. Now, um, a lot of that is because I'm I'm not familiar with how to work the, uh, the software yet. Had I known how, I would have done it. But I wanted to get that out that, that morning. So guilty uh, as I am with my own, one of my own pet peeves. So maybe the other people that are doing that uh, just don't know the, the software well enough. Just, you know, I, I, I basically, Got to the point where I could splice together a clip, and that one was just a long one, so it was no splicing. And then just kind of uh, left it at that. Because I'm trying to juggle a lot of things, and uh, editing and sound 
after the fact of a video is something that eventually uh, I am going to have to learn to do or find somebody that can <clears throat> that can instruct me how. Let's see if we want to handle these eyes. I I actually drew this um, yesterday before I left my office, so it would be done. That was a good feeling coming in this morning, knowing that the piece of art that I was going to be finishing was sitting here uh, just ready for some ink and tone love. And uh, what I have left on my Black Friday sales are a still-to-be-done Captain America and a, un a yet-unknown um, character that our buddy A.G. has, has purchased, but has yet to make a decision on a character. So, AG, if you're out there listening, um, let me know. What you're looking to get so I can get that handled and and move on. Kind of want to do these in a in a group since they did come in on a special sell. So if you need a little more time, that's cool too. I'll I'll find something to do. Just want to get these eyes in. And when they're drying a bit, I'll take a look and see if there's anything I need to answer in the chat. And I may as well drop in the nose well with Ghost Rider it's more of the uh, the hole where the nose would go being a burning skull
little more ink on the brush. And let's tape this up here and see what's happening. Oh, hey. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Ron. Thank you for the compliment. What's up, Billy Ray? How's it going? Good morning. So far, so good. We got a good group of people uh, watching here. I would also like to say uh, I gained a couple new subscriptions yesterday. Um, don't know if Judge Dredd had something to do with it or timing or what, but I think I'm at 106 now subscribers. So I want to thank uh, all 106 of you for taking time to hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you have, um, hopefully you have hit the uh, notification. Um, the notification button so that you know when I'm live and you can uh, join in and that you, uh, That you've given this and some of my other live streams a, a thumbs up, a like, and left a comment. It's all very important. Um, Going to hit this other light on. See if that helps. I just realized it was off. Yeah, that gives a little brightness to it. Um, so I'm going to get back to this. And I did want to ask, uh, Ron, since you're in the room, and I, I know I might have to wait a while for an answer um actually i have two questions for you ron one is the iron man you sent me um which is which iron man armor is that from and is that the the armor that you want on your piece because i know it's changed a bit i I think it might be from the Civil War, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you're not sure. I have no idea. But if you, if you can tell me, that would help. And the second question was going to go towards... Um, I know you had said you had, it would be a few weeks until you had some time off, but you would be able to come to Daytona. Uh, and I'm thinking about doing a, a Saturday live stream. And I was hoping that, yeah, yeah, I can't do it. Well, I probably could. Jacob's birthday is Friday. Um, that's another thing I'm going to have to discuss, but we'll, I'll get to that. So number one for Ron is, do you know the armor and does it have to be that particular, um, that particular Iron Man suit? No big deal if it does. I just, I'm curious. That'll help me with my reference. I might change the pose, um, do something a little different. Uh, number two for you, Ron, was what was the day you said you could come here and uh, we could shoot video? Because I'm going to see if if Craig if Craig is available, I might do a whole day uh, stream where I actually take live commissions um, throughout the day on these type of head, uh, these head sketches, because 
Christmas is coming up, and uh, after this Friday, Jacob's birthday, Daddy is looking for some um, commission work. Gotta gotta get ready for Christmas, and I I need to find some commissions out there. And I found that doing them live is sometimes uh, the best way to get them. So I was wondering if you would like to come and kind of be the behind the scenes guy. Uh, you know, we could film some stuff and then you could do what you did last time, which would, which would, I, I actually liked that was really cool. Oh, it's this Saturday? Um, well, uh, like I said, I probably can. Uh, I probably can do something this Saturday. I will get with uh, Zablo and see if he wants to. Um, but nonetheless, if you... If you can make it Saturday, and if you want to come spend the day, uh, we'll we'll discuss it later. Um, you know, I'm an early early up person, so, and I think you are too, just by your nature. Although you might want to sleep in. Because I know you don't get to sleep in much, uh, but maybe we could get started at... See, I don't want to get... Too close to lunchtime. I'd rather have something going so people can, including us, have like a lunch or something so we're not grumbling. We'll discuss it. And the, uh, the other thing with Jacob's birthday coming up uh, was basically... Um, I will probably do. I I will probably be taking him to school and picking him up on Friday. Now the picking him up doesn't affect anything, but taking him, the reason I would do that is because uh, they allow the kids to bring cupcakes and stuff and kind of have a little party with their classmates. So I would. I would take him to school with his cupcakes and let him have his little party, which I won't be there for, but um, that's for the his class to do sometime during the day. But then I would pick him up because we've got a little at-home party planned for him Friday night. So Friday's uh, morning stream will probably revert back to the 9 time slot. And I will go back over this again or post it so that those that aren't hearing it live can be aware. Be aware. <laughs> be aware. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, hey, I know uh, I know Doc uh, Doc Kaz likes his extra couple hours if he can get them. And if that's your routine, that's cool. Okay, so we'll play it by ear this weekend. We'll see what's going on. And then the next weekend, you are you could be free, but you're not. A, you're 100% sure you're free this weekend. Though.
Now, what I don't know is if my wife has anything, some sort of birthday thing going on with some of her friends, which sometimes that happens last minute. Hey, uh, Billy, um, did you happen to check out the, uh, the show, um, down at, uh, the Alfea show that I had mentioned to you? Um, Louis had called me and asked if I wanted to come, but my wife had made some plans, so I couldn't. But I didn't know if you went down there to to try to talk to him. And uh, he's a good guy. Uh, you might want to. Might want to keep your. your Your communication with him open. been a long time since we've seen the Raytrix at a show. Ah, okay. Yep. Understood, Bill. Well, um... You could still reach out to him. Uh, like I said, it's the Infinity Toy and Comic Con. His name's Louis. Uh, hook up with him on Facebook, maybe. Tell him I sent you. I don't have uh, like an email on him that I know of, Bill. That's why I'm saying go through Facebook. Um, that's going to be your easiest way. If you do, you have Facebook. I think you do. I don't know if you've been haven't been on it in a while though, because I really don't go on it much. But. But if you do, that, that would probably be your best bet is just try to 
introduce yourself uh, on Facebook. Let him know you're a, you're a local artist and available for for shows. For guest appearances. Yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Well, uh, if you're on Facebook, then, like I said, that's it's going to be your easiest way to hit him up, give him a, send him an instant, maybe do a friend request or, if you go to the Infinity Toy and Comic page, hit him up with a message uh, from that. So I guarantee here's what would happen, Ron, if I plan a um, a drawing live stream this Saturday. Because I've asked Bella, hey, uh, any of your friends have plans on, uh, you know, having some sort of party for Jacob because... Uh, living, living with your mom, who's 91, it's not a good place for a party. So that, that, that's kind of the problem we have there. Um, but, hey, hey, I guess my point being is, you, you know, as soon as I say I'm going to do something, then, you know, I've asked her, hey, have any of your friends said, because they, you know, Leading up to it, they're all like, oh, Jacob, you know, we're going to have a party. You know, you can use the house, blah, 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 blah. And that's that's it. Never hear from, never hear about it again. Then Friday or Saturday, it's like, oh, Jacob, we're, we're having a party for you. Come on over. And I'm like, what? So, I mean, daddy can still get out and, you know, make the money or try to make some money and they can have a party. And they do, uh, you know, I don't mind when they have their little get togethers, their little social get togethers and stuff. Have some food, karaoke. Um, it's just when it's my boy's birthday and they have something, then I'm kind of more interested in being there. Yeah, Ron, that little guy does need his party. He's a, he's a character. Uh, tell Priscilla I said hello, uh, Ray. Um, hope she's doing well. And Big Easy, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. Um, it's going to look better when I get uh, when I get it all sculpted in and 
hopefully the lighting is going to come out. the way I like. Anyway, I guess the point being, Ron, is um, if you're up for it, uh, we can try to plan on this Saturday, and if it doesn't work out, that's fine. Uh, we could do the next Saturday if you're definitely, well, you, you're not sure, but if you're up for it, and if you're really up for it, we could do both Saturdays. Now, I don't know if you're, <laughs> if you're that up for it, but if you are, I'm game. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. So, um, you know, we'll be in touch uh, via some messages or something. Try to figure out. Uh, try to figure out what's going on. See what we can, what we can or can't get, get going. I guess the first thing I'll have to do is make sure that Mama Bella is. And it's never 100%, but I'm just going to say it. Is 100% sure that nothing is planned by one of her friends as an excuse for a party for Jacob, but really it's kind of more of a party for them. And I got to say, they're, you know, it's not like a let's get drunk and type stuff party. It, it really literally is just. Uh, like more of a culture Filipino food uh, let's eat let's karaoke and uh, they might have a little wine or something like that but it's not like the old days when when I had a party and it was like hey let's get the beer going You know, I've asked my wife if she watches these streams, and she doesn't. So, I guess that's kind of a good thing, especially right now. So, I think I'll I'll just be quiet <laughs> about anything else. And that way, it'll all be fine. Until it's not.
<laughs> All right, Big Easy. Uh, have a great day, man. I know you'll be checking back later, so take care of yourself. We used to have some uh, some fun times there uh, in Orlando, Bill. And it, it never got out of hand. You know, there was never, um, it was always sociable. But you know that. I don't need to tell you. I'm just pining back, I guess. That was some good times. Good times, good times. Enjoyed it very much. You know, it's hard to believe, Billy, that, uh, and I forget the exact day, but I think it was around... November 21st or 20th or something that that's that's been a year since uh, the colonel uh, since the colonel passed away Ron you would know the colonel as uh, Jim Sanders, the third. Um, he's the guy that I was uh, telling you about with the kidney transplant. Just for a point of reference. And since his... Uh, Last name was Sanders. He he actually, I think it was him that sort of nicknamed himself the Colonel. Colonel Sanders. That's true. Um, Billy knows him, and, uh, you know, we all tried to advise him he should take it a little bit easier, and I guess he figured he was on borrowed time. But still, uh, you know, living that hard and what he went through, I think he really did live uh, he he lived a longer life than I think most of us, including the doctors expected. So anyway, you never know. And uh, I say this with the most respect to to Jim and his family is that I'm glad that when he went, apparently, from what I understand, it was fast because he had suffered enough. I know the last, you know, few years of his life were pretty miserable. So, man, 
this is this is getting to be a depressing stream. I better uh, better change this up. I guess working on this skull might. Uh, Let's get the party started <laughs> with something different. Let's let's change the topic. But anyway, now I just wanted to to mention that you know to mention it while Bill was in the room. So, oh, any new subscribers today? Thank you. Um, like I said, I I grabbed three three new subscribers yesterday. Thank you very much. Um, it's interesting how how subscribers uh, kind of come in little little or big batches. Um, I have no idea. If it was, you know, the character that drew people in, then once they saw what I was doing, maybe they figured, hey, you know, this could be kind of cool to watch and decided to to subscribe. But regardless, I, uh, I thank you all. And those of you who were with me from the start, too, thank you very much. It's a lot of work to... Uh, to get subscribers, or uh, it, it, it seems to be, I'll say that, and uh, it also seems to be, um, you know, you got to put in the work, I believe, to uh, retain your, your subscribers, because if you're not putting out content, I think I don't think people are going to necessarily unsubscribe. I just think you're going to lose the attention of the ones that you landed, so to speak. No new content there, you know. They may not care, um, but you're not going to get them to interact with you on a on a different level. I think I'm really gonna. I want this skull to be a little more dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some heavier, heavier blacks on the shape of the skull because I want him to really pop out from the white of the flame. So let me go ahead and change this up a bit. I liked what I did down at the down on the bottom here, so I'm kind of feeling that. Uh, Ron, I never um, never saw that movie, so I. <laughs> uh, if you want my opinion in general, mm, I liked Nicolas Cage in a. I can't remember some of those movies that the titles escape me right now. I think there was one. Didn't he play? Wasn't he one of the Elvis uh, impersonators in one movie with a bunch of other guys? They were doing a a heist or something. Was Kurt Russell in that one? Thanks, Don. I appreciate the compliment. Um. 
We're going to give him a center. Core shadow here, and we're going to continue this a bit down. Didn't have this plan. This is just kind of a reaction from uh, what I did down below because I, I think that's really strong. Hey, Don, uh, I just wanted to uh, ask and make sure that you received your your art that I sent out last week. You uh, you should have had it by now. Hopefully you did. Now, this means I need to Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, let me know that you really liked them, uh, Don. Thought they would have been there um, before now, but maybe the holiday mail is slowing stuff down a little bit.
Okay, let me take a look at this while that dries out a little bit. You're inking a book uh, for them, Billy? Did you pencil it too, or just doing the inks on it? I think I need to fill that area in with black. This area in here. thought it would look kind of cool to leave it, but I'm thinking I need to get it darker. It's okay, and take care of that pretty easy. Hey guys, um, I gotta take a quick break, walk down to the men's room. So just bear with me for about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes while this ink dries, and I'll be right back. Thank you. All right, I'm back, and uh, good morning, Dr. Kaz. Good to see you. Um, and Ray Dog says, just the inks with a little penciling to fix some of the art, but not much because it's a humanoid animal book called Star's End. Okay, well, that's cool. All right, so... Um, Okay, I 
rarely, if ever, go into a comic book store. I hate to say that, but just the nature of how it is now. Um, hey, Dr. Kaz, uh, on our discussion yesterday about, um, uh, you know, what to use for a video cam, everybody who I, I Googled and stuff, they're using this camera. Um, it is a 1080 uh, high def camera. This was like the, the, the one that people recommended the most. So you got me, man. You and I are, I don't know. Uh, let's see. What was I? I was going to, um, I don't want to take my big brush out yet, but this one is, you know, I really like the deep blacks here. Uh, let me see now that this is dry, though. I want to get rid of some of this red in here so you all can start getting the effect. The flames are going to feel like the inside of his jacket. I'll do a little bit more of this type of stuff in the background. This is going to get filled in black, I think. Um, this will be a gray. But I'm thinking, uh, as I look at this, that this might not need a lot of wash on the skull. I might keep it very, very high contrast and play around with the gray in the background. Um, like a dark gray, not black, but dark. Um, gonna have to see. It's gonna be. It's gonna be fun. So I gotta do his hand. I'm trying to think here. Gotta do his hand. That's gonna be black. Okay. Da, 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 da. All right, so whatever is going to get a gray tone, I think, as I'm thinking now, and of course, you know, that could change. Um, I think it's going to be kind of a dark, dark gray tones, not much light. I'm going to try to make the white come through a little bit uh, as the dominant value. So we'll see. We'll see if I can pull that off. And I don't really want to get too... Uh, I kind of want to keep this one, especially in the flames, kind of a looser feel. Because I think I will go back in also with some white out. Uh, to really pull those whites. Um, detail wise when I get up in here. Add a few little flecks. So we'll see. See if we can get this one done. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it'll work out.
Really? That's interesting. Okay, so you go in when you're watching and you you click to watch in 720 HD, which is the max offered. That must be something I kind of looked around and I didn't I didn't see where I could do a higher setting um, I wonder I'm wondering if it's something to do with my internet speed which is not great here in the office um, I wonder if it's something that could uh, That I could change. I'll, I'm going to have to Google it because sometimes when I go right to YouTube help, I can't find anything, <laughs> even though it's owned by Google. So I'll Google on how to do something in YouTube. Maybe I'll find out uh, what I can do uh, to up the quality because I would like to see it a bit clearer myself to tell the truth. If you if you look, Doctor Kaz, at the uh, snake eyes that I did for you, um, that I had to finish direct to my computer, the second half where I'm just doing it, uh, you can see the difference in quality. Check that out. So that's like uh, you know that's direct to my computer and then uploaded, spliced in with the download from the first part and then put together and re-uploaded but it it maintained a higher level of quality uh yeah i turned a light on it was a little dark in here um so i did do that uh don says i want to see you do a task master now after seeing the skull don commissions are open uh I have a Friday spot available if you're interested. Just um, let me know if you're if you're you know if you're really interested. I know sometimes you know you'd like to see something. Uh, I get it, but uh, I just thought I would let you know that um, I do have available spots that can be filled. And that I need to actually fill. I need to fill some spots in my commissions list because it's kind of tough having a kid that, you know, I, I imagine you could get by if it was 
on Christmas, but Jacob's birthday is Friday, so that entails party and a gift, party, party or parties, gifts, and then Christmas is right around the corner, and I know we all have, you know, Christmas, but I kind of get a double whammy, and uh, I usually try to prepare better for for it, but this year some stuff came up that was out of my control, and I'm I'm trying my best to make it all work. So, just floating that out there, um, if you are interested. It, and Friday, um, Friday, I will be taking, uh, the school does allow, you know, if your kid has a birthday, they will allow you to bring, like, cupcakes for the class. So, uh, Friday's live stream will be at 9 instead of 7 because I, I will bring the cupcakes uh, to the class and then come here to my office and do the stream and I'll just pick Jacob up after school and get him home and we can start his birthday celebration shortly thereafter. Cat used to be my regular cover assignment back in the day. I got no pay for it, and I don't think you did either, but you know what? It was fun. All right. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking if I am ready for a bigger brush to get into this yet. And I'm not sure. <laughs> Just not sure. Da, da, da. Hmm. thinking well <clears throat> I'm thinking that I will do uh, at least the areas I feel comfortable doing with the bigger brush and then if I have to come back to my smaller brush I will I'm sure your pencils are are very nice, Bill. They always work. All right. Uh, there it is.
Really? Well, that's that's interesting, Dr. Kaz. Hmm. hmm. I'm going to have to check into that. Yep, you did, Bill. I'm going to have to look at those videos, Dr. Kaz.
Okay, thank you, Dr. Kaz. And my video looks good today, the quality, right? Yeah, you know, I, I really think it might have something to do with the connection speed. Uh, I know it varies in here from, from time to time. Um, it's not very fast, which it should be. But if I catch a morning like today where there's not many people maybe using the internet or maybe I just got a really good connection today, then I think I'm going to notice improvement uh, right away. But thanks for uh, being a sounding board for me and helping get the, you know, get the quality up. <laughs> you know, Dr. Kaz, I was going to say that might be the people. Uh, I got some noisy people outside my uh, office right now. I think they're in the, uh, I got a, a PI next to me, and they were listening to some conversation that sounded like it had been taped. And I, I could not make out everything, but I was trying. I was trying to hear what was up. I'm not going to lie, it, it, they were having a good laugh at what was being said, but with the headphones on, it was, all I knew is it, it sounded like a recorded conversation. And, uh, you know, maybe they... 
maybe they shouldn't be playing that where other tenants uh, in the building can hear. And I believe they have now shut their office door. So that's good because it was kind of distracting to me anyway. Hey Ron, did you ever answer me on? And if I if I missed it, uh, did you ever answer me on what? Maybe maybe somebody else saw it on what Iron Man suit of armor that was. I might have to scroll back in the chat and see if you did. I am liking I am liking the dry brush flames here quite a bit actually. Um, gotta see if I can get a little bit going here. This one I just did as a when I first started, but Come on. There we go. That'll give me a little more um, flamey look, if that's a word, flamey. I guess it is. I just used it, so. <laughs> oh, what a fun time this is. And... I think I'm going to keep that kind of there. Let me see what it looks like on my monitor. That's how I can. Yeah, I don't mind that being like that. I'm going to put some uh, dark wash tone in there. And I need to now. Get in here. How y'all liking this? Uh. Is it coming across well? This one, let's see if I can get this brush to work with. Yeah, perfect. And Come on. There. That's what I wanted. A little bit in here, a little darker. You know, flame's one of those things that it really doesn't have a structure, but it's got to have the right flow. Because... We've all seen fire and there's no, I mean, it, it's got a flow, you know, there's no real right or wrong. It's like rubble, you know, you can do it any way you want, but it still has a certain texture and feel that we're all familiar with. So that's what I'm trying to capture here is just the, the swirly, smoky effect. I think I'm going to soften this up.
let it have a few. Okay, and go back into this area. Hopefully this brush will turn. And could it turn a little more? Let's redo that. There we go. Now I'm getting those little wisps that I want that really sell it as the fire and smoke. Hey, Shannon, good morning. <laughs> I like your puns, Ron. Yeah, you doctor too. Hey, Dr. Kaz, you too. Um, like, Ron, did you hear me ask you, was there a particular uh, Iron Man movie you wanted me to base that uh, that piece on? Or was that just, uh, the picture you just sent me, was that just for, you know, for inspiration to do a bucket head? Which technically, I guess I did do yesterday. Shannon, if I missed you, uh, good morning. I think I said good morning, but if I, man, my short-term memory, and I mean really short-term, just kind of lost me. But good morning to you, sir. All right. Let me uh, put this here for a second. Now I'm um, I'm really thinking tone wise I don't I don't really need to add a lot I want to keep the white uh, really hot now there is a little bit you know like in here on the outside where I'm going that I will want to put tone in but inside um, the skull I'll do some tone. The eyes white, open a mouth white, um, leave that white, keep it nice, uh, hot and bright looking. The hand with the glove will get a uh, tone on the bottom part. Um, I need to get some ink off my fingers. Well, you text me an image, Ron. You you text me an image. Um, and I have that one, but I don't know if that's the actual armor. Because uh, I know he had multiple ones, and I think that one was from Civil War. And uh, I was going to try to find a different pose, because I was working with that one yesterday. While this is drying, I'll show you... Um, Okay, so this was, I, I cut out the um, background, and then what I did was I lightened it, and I put a grid over it, so that that helps me uh, keep the drawing. Um, Shannon comes in with a burning pun there, <laughs> and then... Uh, Oh, that's a reference. And then this was my see, this is where the this, this was my initial pencil trace where you can see where I used the grid for areas where I needed to really keep those proportions dead on. Um, but I'm losing detail. So I need to get like a a better reference photo, maybe just a line drawing or something so I can see what's going on in those areas. All right. So while I erase this, uh, welcome to the channel. 
I'm John Beatty. Uh, comics inker veteran of I don't know how many years. I started in 1980. Uh, worked on such projects as Secret Wars, uh, Captain America, The Nom, the original Punisher miniseries. That was all, uh, most of that was over Mike Zek except The Nom. Did eight years on Batman projects with writer Doug Minch, penciler Kelly Jones, including three years on the uh, actual Batman monthly title, starting with issue 515. And uh, this is my live stream. I'm working on a ghostwriter right now. So if you like it, uh, I would appreciate a subscription. We are at 106 subscribers now, Dr. Kaz. Gained three yesterday alone. Um, hopefully this ghostwriter might bring some more in today. Uh, subscribe. A little bell will pop up if you want to ring the bell so that you get notifications. I would appreciate that. Uh, that'll let you know when I'm when I'm on. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, give it a like. And you can also leave a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, but I, I just wanted to know, uh, was there a specific armor? Because I know some people are very picky about the, their Iron Man armor. Uh, what they, you know, if you tell me no, it, it was just, uh, you know, what you sent me was, was, was just to, you know, kind of give me that push, like, okay, this is what I want, then that's cool. That's all I need to know. Uh, but I think some of his, you know, some of the armor is a little cooler than some of the other ones. So that's all. I'm just trying to get a read on on it. All right, so this tone is going to be not the darkest. Save the darkest for in the uh, areas that are not going to be white. I do need to get a, a paper towel, though, because this is running on me. It's a little wetter than I would like. Oh, no, I don't have a paper towel already. All right, now I do. What is that icon? Oh, I have no idea what that icon is that Ron typed in. I can't see it. It's too small. Looks like a couple of fried eggs. <laughs> but I don't think it would be that. Anyway, Ron, I will be in touch with you, though, uh, about what we spoke about about this Saturday. Um, I will talk to the wife and see what, uh, what she's heard from any of her friends. Because, like I said, that stuff, you know those things change extremely fast. Sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, no, nobody's got anything planned. Nobody, nope, 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 nope. And then Saturday will come and it's be, oh, so-and-so texts me this morning and next thing I know, it's like, okay, well, have a good time. I already made plans. Anybody else feel that pain? I guess it's not. I, and when I say pain, it's not really a pain. I mean, it's just, you know. That sounds so harsh, but I think you all know what I mean.
Okay. I appreciate that, Ron. Whoa. My board scooching on me. actually had drawn that little part of the where the eyeball the iris would go and i need to get that out i don't like it uh, hanging around there uh sunday is good this sunday you got saturday and sunday off sunday is uh doable I really, you know, like I said, I have to just make plans and then if they get changed, they get changed. But I usually stick to my plan and Bella goes with her plan because I've come to the conclusion that sometimes my plans get overridden by what her friends plan. So I pretty much... Um, no pun intended, attended freelance, uh, you know, when it comes to making plans, I, you know, unless I have a definite plan, then I just decide what, what needs to be done and I do it. And then if, if a party pops up, then I either take her or her friend comes and gets her and gets Jacob and their kids play together and have a good time. And I do what I do. So. It all works out. It all works out in the end. Uh, I don't use tracing paper, uh, Shannon. I use um, just regular copy paper with a, uh, a light pad, like a light box. It's a thin one. So uh, it comes through the, uh, it, it comes through very well without any problems. So, um, So yeah, that's that would be my answer there is just um 
paper with a with a light box or some sort of lighting underneath. Uh, if I was going to use tracing paper, I would probably just go buy some uh, inexpensive uh, Strathmore uh, three three hundred series tracing paper, and that would be fine. You could find that at like a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby near you. But I find that it's very thin and I tend to maybe, you know, it would rip more than if I if I do it on bond paper. So hopefully that that helps you out. Okay. I need a darker wash for the inside of the flames, although I don't want to lose all the little wisp totally. So this I do want to lose. Well, into the complete dark wash. Let me see if I pulled up too much. Yes, I did. All right, let's lighten it up. That's probably going to dry um, lighter than I put it down, so I think we're going to be fine with that. Over on this side. I think I'm going to leave all this edge going around him without the tone and just put the tone on the more inner billows of smoke and fire. A little bit in here. Hi, Chris. Uh, I think it's the first time I've seen you here so are you a new subscriber or just stumble in i appreciate the uh the comment welcome Oh, okay. Well, welcome. Glad to have you. And again, thanks for the uh, thanks for the nice compliment. It's much appreciated.
Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw this. Uh, I'm going to throw this offer out for Friday. So I hope everybody is listening. Because I don't have a slot paid for on Friday and I would like to have one I will extend normally as you all know these are $50 a piece I will extend the Black Friday Cyber Monday price of $40 for the Friday slot if anybody uh, is in the room or catches this on the replay later today and would like to take it so there's one spot open at $40 um, for Friday. So at the end of today, if it's taken, it's taken. If not, then uh, I will come up with something to do. So you're kind of getting a dibs uh, right now on a, on a piece for Friday at a at a ten dollar discount so if you'd like to give it some thought and uh, get in touch with me today please do no pressure just daddy needs to make some Christmas money. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. I am I'm I'm having a good time doing this. I gotta admit, uh, this is kind of uh, kind of the fun stuff I like to do. Is that uh, you know, being here in Daytona Beach, I grew up with uh, skulls on T-shirts and all that stuff bike week and i always like doing skulls so whenever ghost rider comes in then uh it's uh it's a good time i am going to do one more little bit of tone but i want to use my silver brush which gives me a little bit gives me this whole like like i did the flames with gives me that softer effect And for those of you that uh, uh, that are watching and like what you see, uh, Chris, this would include you, buddy. Um, since this may be your first stream, I don't, I don't know if you've catch any of the or if you've watched any of the reruns. If you give me a like down below, uh, please do give give the video a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. I'd really appreciate it. And I do appreciate your subscription, your subscription to my channel. Webface Spidey, uh, you got it, Dr. Kaz. And uh, you got the information for me. So um, go ahead and uh, shoot that my way. And uh, we will put you in on Friday. And as an extra added bonus, Dr. Kaz, <laughs> actually, this I, I don't think you heard this. Uh, maybe you did. I am starting the cast at 9 o'clock on, um, on Friday due to taking cupcakes to Jacob's class for his uh, in-school. Uh, you know, they get the, they, they can bring, you know, if the parents want to, they can they can bring something for the kids. So we're going to bring, uh, Jacob asked if we could bring cupcakes and we are. So, uh, nine o'clock, that's, that's a better time for you too, I believe. Correct. I mean, relatively speaking.
Spiketober, yeah. So thanks for jumping on that uh, opening, Dr. Kaz. I do appreciate it immensely. And now, and now the end is near, and so I face my final curtain. I figured you'd like that, Dr. Kaz. Uh, you can uh, you can thank Jacob's birthday, his his kindergarten birthday party for bumping it to nine. Um, let's see. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. A final touch. Um, hopefully this is going to work. If it doesn't, uh, I'm going to be screwed, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, let me see. What am I looking for? What will do the job? I am thinking I'm going to add a little bit of white splatter into this. Um, and I'm a little bit worried. Splattering is sometimes. But I have some Liquitex acrylic ink that is nice and thin. And I think it's going to work out fine. I will try it. Uh, not on the actual artwork first, but. OK, that's too thin. And now it's, of course, on my finger. Um, because I had to shake it. And it just basically got some, not the actual ink, but bubbles. So I gotta, gotta dip this brush in a little bit more. Let's see if that's, that's flinging it on the paper now. Okay. All right, people. All right, friends, gang, team, comrades, uh, patriots. 
and not the New England Patriots. Because I'm a Dolphins fan, so I can't be a Patriots fan, and I wouldn't be. This is a little, um, a little soft. Probably didn't even notice it. Just a little sprinkle. But I think uh, I think I need to get a bigger brush out and do it the proper way. Uh, I don't really know if I can do that. This one's running a bit long. Um, hmm. Let me see. Do you all want to see the uh, the flecks of white? I, I'm not sure if they'll show up, but I will ask. Should I give it another attempt with a, a brush that's that one's a little soft? So it's it's it's. I mean, I've got a few here, but it's not the splatter that I was wanting. It's not a good uh, good bold splatter, which I would like. Well, not real bold, but. Just want to add like, uh, you know, when a fire's going, you get a little bit of. Um, the little, um, oh, what's the word? White spackle. Yeah, that's. The, the little sparks, I guess that's the word I'm looking for, is the sparks. A little bit of sparks. Um, okay, so let me, let me entertain you, as the song goes. Again, I will try this away from said artwork first. And if this doesn't work, then... All right, this is going to work. Uh, there we go. There we go. It's a little uncontrollable, but man, I'll tell you. When you guys see this on the scan, of course, I'm going to have to let this one dry a bit more. Because of the white uh, spackle, as I as Ron calls it, I like that. It just adds another layer uh, of texture. All right, I'm glad I did that. That was not as painful as I thought. Y'all can see that too. White ash, that's that you got it, Shannon. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, so Dr. Kaz has secured Friday's spot uh, with a web headed Spider Man. I now have white on my hands. That's okay, I need to clean up here anyway. Um, let me move this up in the picture frame a little bit here so you guys can give it a final look, scan it, probably sign it in white down here in my name. So this is today's, uh, live draw, Ghost Rider, um, And uh, so what do we have left? Captain America, AG needs to let me know what he wants. And Dr. Kaz has taken Friday's spot. Thank you, Dr. Kaz. I appreciate that very much. So we, he will be getting a web-headed Spider-Man done on Friday. Um, other than that, I appreciate you all coming out again and supporting me, uh, making this a fun daily Monday through Friday, at least, routine. And I will be in touch with you, Ron, 
Thanks, everybody. Uh, if you really like it, a thumbs up would not hurt. And if you have time, leave a comment. Until tomorrow, you all have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you then. I appreciate it all. Have a good one, guys. Later on.